Hey guys, welcome back to another video and I hope you are okay and having a great time. Today I've got simply the fastest M.2 SSD that's available on the market and as you can see, I cannot focus right over here. So I'll use my M100 right over here. And for those of you that are a bit crazy like myself, I was working with two cameras, the M200, which you are used to it, my iPhone 11 Pro, which I'm enjoying to use it as a secondary camera. But usually I use my M100. And I was playing around with them and I thought, okay, so we are talking about crazy speeds, crazy stuff, really high quality, crazy people like myself. So let's put in the M50 right over there, shooting all this for those of you that are a little bit more fans than those regular ones. And that being said, with all this big intro, I'm really excited to be able to use this SSD, M.2 SSD, which is amazing, crazy fast, the fastest in the world. No clickbait whatsoever, you already know me, I always use the titles that are appropriate, and it is the fastest, you can search for yourself, and I will leave some links down below so that you guys can check out prices and so on and so forth. A few weeks ago, we took a look at the Sabrent Rocket Extreme, here we go with the M100 focusing right over here on the SSD just because the iPhone 11 Pro refuses to focus. So the fastest external hard drive and it's really exciting especially if we want to uh, edit videos and that kind of work on the go which is awesome but in terms of internal SSDs this is amazing and we are reaching roughly 5,000 megabytes per second on reads not roughly exactly 5,000 megabytes per second on reads and 4,200 300 on writes and for those of you that are questioning okay Robert but I do see a lot of these SSDs that are all the same speeds are exactly the same well not exactly now when we started to use SSDs and even nowadays those uh, that are limited by the SATA connection reach roughly 500 megabytes per second on reads and on writes. This is just the limitation of the technology available on that connection. Now, once we pass to the M.2 format, which is the mainstream at these days, I do believe at least here where we live, and what we can achieve are superior speeds especially when we use NVMEs. Now, the fastest one that I've used before was the HP S950, which was reaching roughly 2,500 megabytes per second on reads and on writes. More or less the same that we can get on this one right over here in terms of external speed, which is great. We are talking about great, great speeds. But in here, using the generation Four, then we can achieve 5,000 megabytes per second on reads and 4,300 on writes. Now, I did also use the Blackmagic design tool for Windows, which is a bit outdated, but I was not able to get the maximum right over there. I was reaching 3,700 top on reads and on writes. This is something that I cannot explain, probably because the software is a bit outdated. Now, one of the things that you might ask, okay, Robert, but this is great. What about boot times? Now, boot times, it's really hard to say because there is one point that we will not notice anymore. It's just faster than anything that we have. And actually, we will take more time in terms of the check that the motherboard will do to the components and the initial screen. But once it reaches an SSD, talking about NVMe, then it's just a matter of a couple of seconds. But but if you ask me, Robert, what about a NVMe that has 3,500 megabytes per second? Will you notice the difference? Honestly, I do not. Where can we notice the difference is that if we are writing and reading from this, this, then we will. And if we are passing big files and if we want the best available right now in terms of technology, this is it. That There's nothing else that I'm aware of that can be compared with this SSD. Now, have in mind that to use the full advantage of this generation and this technology, we will need hardware suitable. And in here, I will leave a link down below somewhere so that you guys can check it out. I've got the platform AMD X570, which will have the technology available for the PCIe Generation 4, which will allow us to use these uh, capabilities at the full speed. If we have an older motherboard like I do, well, 
one year old or one year and a half then we will use the generation 3 and this is totally compatible you can use it in any motherboard but we will only take advantage of generation 3 so we will be limited more or less at 3500 megabytes per second reads and on writes which when we say only only 3500 megabytes really robert only Yes, when we talk about 5,000 to 3,500, yeah, only. Now, in my particular case, uh, I've got this setup right over here, and the SSD comes with this really nice heat sink. Again, moving to the M100, and the heat sink, uh, it's as you guys know, to cool down the SSD because obviously it will reach so fast speeds that it will get a little bit hotter. So instead of getting hotter, they have this solution right over here that will be cooled by the uh, case cooling system and it will cool the SSD. Now on all the tests that I've made I had no issues at all but it is recommended nonetheless in this particular setup I cannot use it because I don't have enough space between the GPU and the space available so that I could put the heatsink. I will test it further on uh, in a couple of weeks or so with a bigger case. Not really sure of but I've got a land cool right over there, so probably on that one we'll use the heat sink and to test it out to see how it will perform, if there are any differences. I do believe that on the long term it will not only make a difference in terms of temperatures, but in terms of longevity and in terms of performance as well. Guys, basically that is it. This is not a cheap setup, it is the best in the market, it is the fastest in the world, but it's not cheap. So for those of you that are wondering, hey Robert, is it worth it? If you are that kind of person that wants the best out of anything and you want the latest and greatest, then yes. The same happens with the Sabrent Rocket Extreme, which I did test it out. I have a couple more uh, units from Sabrent. And one thing that I'm sure at this moment on everything that I've touched from the Sabrent brand, they do not cheap out. They have the highest quality possible. Price quality, it's on top. And if we want top quality, top speed, then like everything in life, we will need to pay for it. Guys, basically this is it. Hope that the video was helpful in some way. Hope that you guys enjoyed this. Play around with the M211 Pro right over here, iPhone of course, and the M100 right over there. And obviously just play around the M50 right over here so that you guys can check out. I know that you love to see the backstage of things. That being said, my name is Roberto George. Hope that you guys enjoyed. And if you did, don't forget that usual thumbs up. As always, we'll see you guys on the next one.